Good evening. My name is Justin Clegg. I am the Director of Communications, and today we need to act quick to solve the cosmopolitan crisis. On Tuesday, April 11th, we posted an article with the clickbait heading, How This Woman Lost 44 Pounds Without Any Exercise. This heading is unacceptable because the story about how Simone Harbinson, a 31-year-old, goes too much into detail about her cancer treatment and not enough about her actual diet plan, the BOD, that helped her lose the weight. We have received a lot of backlash from many people, including Brad Jaffe, senior news editor and writer for NBC, all the way to the general public. We need to respond quick to all this backlash. So first we must figure out what the severity is, how much responsibility we hold, who our audience is, and how we can attract them. According to DeSanza and Legay, because this is not a threat to public safety, the severity is low. Our responsibility, on the other hand, is high. This means we have a concerned audience. When attracting a concerned audience, we cannot deny that this was not a mistake on our part. Instead, we need to apologize for our actions and give an explanation. On top of that, we need to minimize the crisis, take corrective action, and use the bolstering technique. A letter from the Director of Communications, Justin Clegg. To the upset audience, On Tuesday, April 11th, we at Cosmopolitan carelessly posted an inconsiderate article that portrayed cancer as a weight loss program. Although this was not our intention, this article clearly did romanticize weight loss on any terms. For that, we at Cosmopolitan sincerely apologize. In this article, we depicted Simone Harbinson, a cancer survivor, as a great example on how to lose weight fast. The focus in this article was how she dealt with the struggles of cancer, which ultimately led to her losing weight. Yet, we failed to focus on her weight loss from the actual diet itself. We have since taken action to not allow this to happen again. Since then, we have fired those that worked on the specific article, as well as revised the article to focus on how Simone's struggles led to her using the BOD diet program. We have also put new training in place for all employees to avoid clickbait headlines and insensitive material. Cosmopolitan praised Simone and other cancer victims for their struggles and bravery. In previous articles about cancer, we have commended cancer victims for their courage to speak with us and let us publish their story. Such acts of bravery have even shed light on preventable cancers such as skin cancer. These in turn inform our audience of the dangers of cancer and how to prevent them. It is our responsibility to provide the public of newsworthy stories without the need of clickbait headlines and inconsiderate material. We here at Cosmopolitan believe that we fell in the wrong this time and we hope to make it up to you now and in the future. Thank you. We take full responsibility by admitting our actions of posting an inconsiderate article that portrayed cancer as a weight loss program. Then we say, we at Cosmopolitan sincerely apologize. At the beginning of the letter, I also used minimization to convince the public that the crisis isn't as bad as it might appear. By stating that this was not our intention, I informed the audience that this was perceived in the wrong way for an acceptable reason. In the next paragraph, I focus on how the article was perceived compared to how we meant for it to come across. Following the comparison, I inform the audience of the corrective action we have and will take in the future. Specifically, I use prevention by stating we have fired those that worked on the specific article and have new training to prevent clickbait and insensitive articles. To add to our corrective action from the crisis, I assure the audience that the article and its heading have since been revised. I use prevention in hope that our audience will believe Cosmopolitan can make changes in its operation to prevent recurrence of the crisis. The last tactic I use is bolstering because I wanted to end the letter on a positive note. By relating positive attributes of the organization or actions it performed in the past, I have shown how Cosmopolitan has treated other cancer patient stories in hopes that it might mitigate the negative consequences. By allowing our audience to see that we have viewed our other cancer patients as brave and courageous for sharing their story, they can understand that we wouldn't purposefully insult other patients. Due to Twitter's word count limit, I would suggest posting a picture of the letter on Twitter and Facebook, sending it to the media, having it on their website, and publishing it in their next magazine would also be good mediums for this letter. 
In conclusion, we have to take action as quick as possible. We must appeal to a concerned audience to get the message across in an effective manner. We cannot deny, rather, we must admit to our actions and use minimization, correction action, and bolstering techniques to our advantage. This is the best plan for us, and the quicker we do it, the better our situation will be. Thank you.